Hi guys, my name is Ozzy, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Casio Vintage Collection Calculator Watch. So I gotta play smart. I've been getting dope teams every time my phone rings. So and it comes in the color gold. And oh my goodness, when I first saw this watch, I was I was like, man, this watch is really beautiful. And like, I was gonna get an Apple Watch because I have an iPhone and I have a MacBook. So I was like, let me just go ahead and have all my devices synced up. But then I, I thought about it. I said, man, if I get an Apple Watch. I want to stop wearing all my other watches that I've already spent money on. So I was like, you know what? It's not that deep. I don't need to check my notifications on my wrist. That's extra for the reason. Plus, I already have like five, six watches. So but regardless, so the retail of the retail price for this watch is sixty dollars, and with the shipping and handling plus tax, it came up to eleven seventy eleven dollars seventy cents extra. So the total that I spent for this whole thing is seventy one dollars and seventy cents. And while I was looking for the link to the watch for the video, I was like, man, that's crazy. I saw Zoomies had like a sale that they were doing free shipping and they have the the watch on their site for like $65, including the tax. So I was really salty. I was like, wow. But I've already bought the watch and I don't feel like going to the post office to return it and then buy another watch and then wait more time and then wait for the refund to come in. So I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to keep it. It's really just a $6 difference. It's nothing OC crazy. So, yeah. So let me just go ahead and get straight into the view. So basically, as you can see, look how nice this box is with the black and the gold lettering. Oh man, it's just so beautiful. Then all over the side of the box is black and then it has the barcode right here. And then yeah, so let's go ahead and take this out of the box. And basically this is what it looks like. It says Casio Vintage Collection. I don't know why it, the focus is acting strange. There you go. So it says Casio Vintage Collection on the top and on the side. It basically just says Casio Vintage Collection all over the box, which is pretty cool. So you take the top off. Then there's like this little black film over it. It's like this light foam. Really interesting. It's kind of see-through. And then here's the watch itself, which you all came and clicked on this video to see. Uh, let's just wait for this to focus. I just realized it's not going to focus. It has like this little plastic on. Hold on. There you go. Now, hopefully it'll focus now. There you go. As you can see, it has the time. And it has the little dial pad for the numbers. For the calculator part of the watch. Focus. There you go. So yeah, this is this watch is just like really beautiful. I'm gonna put some B-roll in here, so don't worry, because this autofocus is acting difficult for whatever reason right now. It's kind of bothering me, but I will continue to make this video no matter what, despite whatever technical difficulties come up. This watch will just focus. Oh my freaking goodness! Okay, guys, I don't know why my camera wants to be difficult. <sighs> it's really delaying me here. Wow, it focused for a quick sec. Okay, finally. So as you can see, all over the watch is gold and black face. And it says the time. The time is wrong, though. I haven't said it, so ignore that. And the, yeah, I think I think this is supposed to be the watch with the five-year uh, warranty. I think it comes with a warranty. I'm not sure. But yeah, it has like this little pamphlet in here. This is Casio. There you go. So yeah, it just has the model number, all this information, how to set up the watch. Oh yeah, it does have a warranty card. That's good. So right here, this is the little warranty card. The thing to focus. So yeah, that's the warranty card. And basically, I just have to put the date of purchase and then, yeah. So if this watch ever gets damaged, I can just return to Casio and then they'll replace it. So that's good. So yeah. So basically, the thing I like about the watch is that the strap is adjustable. There's this thing right here. Focus this real quick. Come on, camera, focus. I don't know why it's acting strange. There you go. So right here, if you push inside here and then pull this out you can adjust the length of the strap and how tight it is on your wrist so that's pretty cool 
And I'll, I'll probably do like a, a close up on how to do it. So don't worry about that. And I think I'm just going to have to pause my camera to fix this autofocus setting because it's really blowing me. So hold on, give me a second. Alright guys, so this is a better angle so of the watch. Now that you see that I've opened it, as you can see, it has the time and then the numbers right here. There you go. So you can see that. So you can do math equations. Let me do something like, how do you do I think I just press it and then it switches. How uh, do I do this? What do I press to switch to the calculator function? Okay, yeah. I press this thing on the side right here, the button. Let me focus. I press that button on the side, and then I can do calculations. So there you go. So let's do something simple. Uh, 13. What's the plus? Plus... Seven. Then I press the equal button. Focus. Okay, so I did thirteen plus seven equals twenty. There you go. So let's do five times six. I don't know why the camera's not focusing. Focus. And then press the equal sign. And thirty. So there you go. It works. Perfect. So yeah, that's that's the main feat. That's the second feature of the watch. It tells the time, and then if I want to go back to the time, I press this gray button on the side, and then voila! Now it tells the time, the date, and yeah, that's pretty cool. So the back of the watch right here, it says Casio, and then it has the model number. If you'll focus and it'll show it, there you go. So there you go with that. And uh, for right now, that's going to be all for this part of the video. I'm going to just show you guys close-ups of how it looks like on my wrist. Oh, wait. I oh, almost forgot one thing. I was going to show you guys how to, adjust the, uh, how to adjust the watch on your wrist. So basically, there's this thing right here. And it has, like, this arrow. So basically, what you do is I have, like, this little... Yeah, you, need, you just need something skinny and sharp. Either, like, a... Uh, like a little metal hook, something with a metal hook, maybe a safety pin or just a needle from like a sewing kit. And then you put this, you put this like right here into the latch and then you pop it up. This is kind of hard to do and do have it on camera as well. So hold on, give me a second. There you go. And then once you use something sharp to pull it out, now you can adjust. Hold on. Now you can adjust it, slide it up. And then you go ahead and lock this down. How do I press this down? There you go. My finger, my fingernails are short, so that's the reason why it took me a little bit longer. But there you go. Now that I've adjusted the watch, I'm gonna just go ahead and put it on my wrist. There you go. And then do the clamp. Hold on. There you go. Now I have the now I have the watch on my wrist. I'm gonna have to adjust it off camera because I can't really show you and have it on camera at the same time. But yeah, hold on, give me a second. All right, after long minutes of trying to adjust the watch because my fingernails are short, finally I can go ahead and show you guys the watch on my wrist. I'm definitely gonna step outside to show this in better lighting. But yeah, this is how it looks like on my wrist. The calculator looking nice and sweet. Shazam. Ooh, this watch is clean. Moves, baby girl, cause I'm a star. Girl, they know just who we are.
Blowing zips, we gon' have box to push a star. Foreign whip, when you lean back, you see the stars. Got a foreign chick, she gon' throw it back like VCR. Say she want a real one so she can put down her guard. Gotta play it smart, some of these hoes ain't got heart. I ain't got no cut cars, kept it real from the start. Say she wanna get a ring, shawty taking it too far. I just wanna be free, life on 106 in part. Girl, 